Okay, so what we have now at this point, we've got our blueprint that you've gone through, you've figured out already, you know where everything is, you have your work inside of it, you know where your doors are, you got it all figured out. The next step is to go through and start figuring out what specific room we would like to focus on, right? So for example, let's say that you're, uh, you're walking into your house, you're giving the grand tour of your house. Do you want to hang out in the kitchen, the bathroom, the, the bedroom? Oh, so now what I want you to do is kind of think about how you want to, uh, how, where exactly you would like to showcase, because this is going to be what we're going to end up drawing. So for example, maybe I want to do the kitchen. Well, if I face a flat wall, that's going to allow me to see in one point perspective, which we know already. If you face the corner, that's going to allow me to see in two point perspective. Now, I'm going to let you choose which angle you'd like to do. So say, for example, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put kind of my camera right here. I'm going to face this flat wall because I'm going to do a one point perspective room. So I make it a little bit of the corner here of the uh, bathroom, maybe a little bit of the corner here, but this little cone is going to allow me to see basically what is going to be in my drawing. So the rest of this I can kind of forget about. And feel free to take a couple minutes, maybe you know you want to go back and add in a couple extra objects, little things you want to buy, whatever. Right? Okay. So at this point I know this is where I'm going. The next step, in class I will have gone through and given you the Bank of Kozak uh, check right here. Yeah, that's it right there. It's totally not legal tender. Um, but what I'm going to do is kind of talk to you guys a little bit about what the heck a check actually is, right? So a check really at the end of the day is just like a dollar. A dollar is kind of a check from the government. And this is a check to yourself or to, you know, whoever you're paying the check to. Whenever you go through and you fill out a check, you know, you've got your date at the top. And you want to think about, uh, you know, write in today's date, you know, whatever. Um, you want to figure out who you're paying it to. Uh, so, you know, if you're paying it to your, uh, your rental company or, you know, the nation of Kazakhstan. Right? Uh, and then you want to figure out how much you want to put in. So what I'm going to have you do is write in here the total savings that you have set aside from your budget. So like your net. After you've spent everything, how much do you have left? So it's this one then that uh, you'll write in. So let's say you've got, I don't know, like four grand, uh, 623 bucks and 60 cents. Okay, perfect. The next step down here, you can see we've got a little area where we're going to put in um, the written amount of our money. So for example, the best thing you can do is literally just read this number out loud. How you say it out loud is how you're going to write it down. So for example, I do 4,000, 4,000, 600, 23, 000, see right there, dollars. And then for the cents, what I can do is just do like a 60 over 100 because it's 60 out of 100 until I get an extra dollar. So there's my change. So that's all written too. You might notice that this entire time here I've gone through and I'm writing in print, just plain old print. That's okay. The only thing you need to actually physically sign in cursive, so your parents were lying to you for years, the only thing you need to actually sign in cursive is your name, which goes down on this line here. So that looks good enough. Okay, so you put your signature right down there. And then finally, the four section over here is going to be kind of um, a note to yourself in case this check bounces or you forget what the heck it was for in the first place. Of course, this is going to go into our savings. Okay, so we've saved this amount of money. We're going to deposit this at the Bank of Kozak, so you'll just give it to me and I'll give you some credit for it. But again, understand a little bit more about what a check actually is, right? So. We've got all these numbers floating around here on a check. So this one here is actually the check number. So that's, uh, you know, you might have 2400, the next one's 24001, 24002, you get the idea. So if I need to cancel a check, I can call up the bank and tell them which check to cancel. That number you'll see is repeated again down here at the bottom. So that's just your check number. Then we've got all this random junk down over here, right? It's a whole bunch of stuff. That, uh, that really, you know, it's kind of all over the place. But if you decode it, then you'll know what it actually is saying. So this first little section here, this is actually our bank routing number. So this tells me where my bank is. Out of every bank in the continental United States and, you know, Kazakhstan, um, this tells you which bank yours is, you know, the one up the hill there. That's really important to know because that really narrows the field down very, very quickly. At the same time, the next number here, this is your account number. So in this bank, it's this account, and I'm taking this amount of money out. And you can see 
the dollar does the exact same thing, and any currency does the exact same thing, right? It has the amount, the amount, right? Check, okay. And we've got a signature and a signature. This is actually from the, uh, the treasurer um, of the Federal Reserve here. We've got the Secretary of the Treasury and the Treasurer of the United States. And then we've got this random long string of numbers. This is actually the, the actual physical dollar serial number. So again, very similar to kind of our routing number and our uh, account number. This is the serial number of that particular dollar. Um, then it's going to tell you a little bit more here. So we've got this little letter here. This letter tells us about the Federal Reserve. So it's going to tell you which reserve this actual dollar came from. And these numbers over here, the eights, those will tell you the exact same information. So for example, if it was like a one or an A, that came from Boston, uh, a C from Philadelphia, or an H here actually comes from good old St. Louis. So this dollar was originally made in St. Louis and it found its way all the way over to North Carolina. So. That gives you a little bit of information about what this thing that we call money is. Because at the end of the day, all of this stuff that we're doing is really just based off of faith, right? We have faith that this is worth a dollar, but it's just as worthless as this piece of paper, right? Because at the end of the day, they're the exact same thing, although this is not technically paper, but that's another conversation. Um, at the end of the day, what you want to think about is the importance of these numbers. Just like the importance of a number on it, like a credit card, these numbers tell me how to get into your account. And it wouldn't take much doing to call up this bank with this account number and forge myself, right? Pretend that I was you to get all of your good money. So be extra careful whenever you're done with a check, instead of just ripping it in half and, you know, having this stuff floating around. Instead, because it doesn't take much to stitch that together, instead, really, you want to shred these numbers. The numbers are the important stuff, right? If I'm trying to get into your account, this is what I'm getting at. So make sure to always shred any, any uh, uh, financial documents that you have. That's a good tip for you. So you've got your check, you'll turn that in, not shredded. And uh, well, this is mine, you don't get this. But, our next step is to go through, figure out our actual perspective and begin to draw in one or two point perspective for our room, okay? We're gonna draw exactly what we see, which is why it's important that you saved all of these pictures along the way, whether you screenshotted them or however you did it. Um, and that is our next step. So, I'll see you soon.